how to pick which CSS unit to use in which circumstance. I wish this was an easy question to answer, but it really is one of those it depends types of questions. But in this case, the it depends does actually depend on some things more than others. So in this video, I'm gonna try and come up with the best generalizations that I can. Before we really dive into it, I just want you to remember there is always an exception to pretty much all of these rules. These are just rules of thumb. But if you're just breaking away from using pixels and you aren't sure which unit you should be using in what situation, hopefully this video will help you out. Are you declaring a font size? If so, you probably want to go with rem. Rem are like m in that they're relative units, but in the case of rem, they are relative to the font size of our root element, which is our HTML element. Most of the time that defaults to 16 pixels. And you might be going, well, if it is 16 pixels, why don't I just use pixels? But rem are better than using pixels because they adapt to the user's system and browser preferences. Whereas if you use pixels, you're gonna lock things in and you can overwrite a user's preferences. I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty of all of it, but if someone has taken the time to change their browser settings to have something default to 21 pixels and you overwrite that with something that's really small because you think it looks better, I know if that was me, I probably wouldn't bother sticking around. One of the reasons people don't like using rems is working off of base 16 can be hard or they don't like that idea. Now I've been doing it for long enough that I'm actually pretty used to doing it. But if you don't like the idea of doing that, you can actually set the font size on your HTML element to 62.5%. And when you do that, it sets the base font size to 10 pixels, and it just makes the math a lot easier. That way, if you want something to be 21 pixels, you can set the font size to 2.1 rem, because 2.1 times 10 gives you 21 pixels. Now, just earlier, I did mention M, and while I love M, I generally would avoid using them to set font sizes. If you really wanna know the differences or more about M versus rem and the types of issues you can run into with either one of them, I do have a video that compares the two and shows you the problems that you can run into, so you can check that out. Are you setting a width? This is actually one of the harder ones to answer because there are so many different things that you might be setting a width on, but I think for the most part, a percentage is a nice direction to go on, often coupled with a max width. Now, there are times also where a viewport width might be a good unit to use, but it can cause some trouble or some unintended consequences, so just be careful with uh, viewport widths if you are using them. And another unit that a lot of people don't know about that could be a really good fit is the CH unit. In the world of print, we have an M unit, which is the width of a capital letter M, but in CSS, the M is equal to the font size of an element. So they've given us a new unit, the CH. So this is roughly equal to the width of the number zero of any given font. So just think of the CH as the width of a character of that font. Now you might be wondering why would that be useful? And it's when you're setting things like max width on paragraphs, for example, or you might even be using this on components. And this is because in typography, you generally don't want to go above 75 characters per line for readability reasons. And it just looks ugly, really. And I, 75 is actually pretty wide. I would recommend staying narrower than that. And a really good way to keep check of this and not have to guess and sort of just randomly put in numbers hoping it's going to look good with things like rem uh, for your max widths is by using the ch. Because if you know you do max width 45 ch, it's roughly 45 characters wide. Once again, if you want to know more about ch, I did make an entire video on it. So you can check out the description for a link on that one as well. Are you setting a height? First up, the first thing I want you to do is think, do I really need to be setting a height? If you really, absolutely, you have to, you, you, yes, Kevin, I need a height on this, please think about maybe using a min height instead of a height, because at least in that situation, if the browser shrinks and the content needs more room, it won't overflow at the bottom and cause a whole bunch of problems. So if you are setting a min height or you're dead set on setting a height on something, a percentage, rem, or even a viewport height all fit the bill. On the word of viewport height though, just do be careful with it. There are issues that can come up, especially on mobile devices. So do be careful with that, you know, with the keyboard coming in and there's other things that can cause the viewport height to sort of not act the way you'd expect it to. Are you setting padding or margin? For the most part, I'd suggest going with either M or rem for these. It depends on whether you want the padding or margin to be consistent despite the element that you're setting it on, or if you want it to adjust based on that element's font size. The popular example I usually turn to is using M for padding on buttons. That way, if you set the font size of the button, if you, know, you want a big version of the button and a small version, you change the font size, the padding will grow and adjust along with that font size. Another example is setting the flow on a document. You could give all of your text elements, your paragraphs, your lists, your heading, give all of them a margin top of one rem, and it'd be consistent throughout the entire document. But you could change that to one M, and then the spacing will be bigger on headings because they have a larger font size. And this is, can actually be a nice thing because it adds some extra white space on top of your headings, and it can make your hierarchy more clear. And what about media queries? 
If you've been following me for a while, you might have noticed that I usually set my media queries using M. And I actually do this for consistency across all browsers because Safari does something differently if you use REM or Pixels compared to the other browsers. I won't go into detail on this. I'm going to link to an article by Zell Yur that looks at the differences between them. The article is actually pretty old at this point, but every time I check it out, it holds true what he wrote about. So you can read about it there. And Kevin, what about the other units? There's tons of other units in CSS, but honestly, I think if you have a good understanding of M and REM, you sprinkle in some percentages where you need them and you know, CH is really awesome too. You can use that a bit. Maybe a little bit of viewports, they can be in, come in handy. That's about all you really need. And you might even notice I didn't really talk about pixels either. I, I honestly don't use them very much. And if you start taking advantage of relative units like M and REM, I think you'll see that you don't need them much anymore either. I use them for some things, like when you need something really small, maybe three pixels for a shadow offset or something, but I really, I find myself barely using them, except when I, you know, sometimes if I'm doing a demo, I'll use it really quickly just because it's fast, but for the most part, they're not something I turn to very much at all. And that's it for me. Did I miss out on your favorite unit, or do you use any of these in different ways than I've talked about? Or maybe there's some situation you've run into and that these things don't work and you want more suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below. If you did like this video and you want more CSS content on the regular, please do consider subscribing. A giant thank you to my patrons for their support each and every month. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.